Hello, in this video tutorial we'll be looking at how to create hybrid black and white and colour photographs within Photoshop, such as the example shown here. We'll be looking at using adjustment layers, layer masks and also filters to create this effect. So let's start by just opening up our base photo, just by going File, Open and finding that kind of original raw photo which we'll be working with. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a black and white effect to the background of this photo but make sure that the carriages here which is the thing I want this photo to focus on are remaining in colour. So we're going to start by just going on my adjustment layers. These can be found down in the bottom right hand corner in this kind of half black and white circle here. And we want to use the black and white adjustment. Now we're using this way of adjusting rather than going to file and up to image and adjustments because by using layer adjustments we can then apply layer masks to this and also go back and change it. It allows us a kind of non-destructive workflow as we edit our photographs. So I'm going to select black and white there and you'll see that now that's applied a new layer in my layers tab here on top of my background layer called black and white. Now just a short aside here that a lot of people don't know but there are multiple different versions of black and white you can have on an image. Um, by default it's set to the default preset on black and white but if you click on this drop down here in the properties of this particular adjustment layer you'll see there are lots of different types of black and white and if I just filter through these you can see they do have quite a drastic effect on the output of the image you have some are more contrasty and some kind of pick up and darken or lighten different colours within the photograph and this is sort of um, taking cues from original black and white um, developing when film used to be developed and it's kind of similar techniques to that that they're picking up on in Photoshop. So I think for this particular image I don't want a completely dark sky but I don't want it completely light either so we're going to go for this lighter option here. Now you can see that obviously I've applied that black and white layer on top of my background image but it's made the whole image black and white and this is something we don't actually want. We would quite like to keep these particular carriages and trucks in colour for this image but we'll leave the remainder of the image black and white. And to do this we're going to be using what's called layer masks. Now layer masks are kind of filters you can apply on top of a layer to hide or show a particular portion of that layer and for this we're going to be using a layer mask on the carriages to make sure that it's hidden from the black and white filter we're putting or adjustment we're putting on top of it. So it makes everything else black and white apart from the carriages we've got selected here. Now to do that I'm going to first just go and unhide my black and white or hide sorry my black and white layer. So we're back to our colour image we can turn that on and off just by using this eye icon up here. And we're going to just go around and select the carriages here. Now there are a few ways you can do this. If you've got um, Photoshop 2020 there's this new object selection tool which is a kind of um, automatic way of selecting objects. This might work but for kind of the bits of background in the back of this image you'll see that it probably won't be perfect if it goes around. Yeah, you see it's kind of picking up bits in the mountain there as well. But it's done an okay job on the edges. So we're going to start with that and then I'm just going to take my polygon lasso tool here which is just found under the lasso tools and I'm just going to tidy this up. You can hold down the alt key to deselect any areas. So I'm going to kind of deselect this top bit here and around here and we're just going to kind of go around and trace around the carriage. So I'm going to pause the video and finish tracing this up and then we're going to carry on with the rest. But what you want is to kind of have all the carriages traced out in the selection. Now you can see that my carriages have now fully been selected and I've just gone around and kind of traced around the outline of all of those. Now what we want to do is we want to apply this selection to our mask on our black and white layer. So to do that we first have to, by default, when you make an adjustment layer like so, it applies to the whole image and you can see that there's a little white frame next to our adjustment layer. That's telling us that it has a mask on but there's no mask in play on that image. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select that particular white layer there and hit on the recycle bin in the bottom right to delete that layer mask and it will ask me if I want to delete it. 
saying yes. And we're going to just apply a new layer mask on top of this. And to do that, we're going to hit the layer mask option down here, which is to the left of that adjustment layer. It's the kind of white square with the black circle in the middle. And there you have it. Now we have kind of applied our mask and we've got a kind of masked out where the carriages are, so they keep in colour, and the rest of the image is in black and white. Now, if you do this for the first time, it might actually be inverted, like so, and you might have everything in colour on the background and actually only the carriages in black and white. To flip a mask or to invert a mask, all you have to do is select the mask image next to your black and white layer and go Control i on your keyboard and it will invert it in place. So you can switch around what's colour and what's black and white. Now we can also use these layer masks for other effects in the adjustment layers. So let's say for example we didn't want the carriages to be this colour, we wanted to change the hue or change the colours of these. We could create a new layer, a hue saturation layer on top. And what I'm going to do is this time I actually just want to focus on the carriages and not the background. So I'm going to take my layer mask I made before, if I hold down the Alt key and then click and drag it up, we can make a copy of that mask and apply it to another layer above. So I'm going to copy it, apply it to my hue saturation layer above, and go yes to replace. Now you see they both have the same mask, but for this hue saturation I want it to be the opposite of my black and white, I want it to just focus on the carriages, so I'm going to invert it, Control i so you see now that I've got two of the same layer mask, but they're different types. One's inverted from the other. Now, with that in play, we can now start to adjust the saturation of our carriages, like so. If we want to make them kind of brighter and more saturated, we can adjust the hue of the colours if we wanted to change the tone of the colours as well. And another kind of feature which is quite useful with the hue saturation is the colorize tool. So if you click on colorize at the bottom of this adjustment layer and up the saturation a bit, we can add a kind of color tone to the, across the whole image on these areas. So if you just wanted to sort of highlight them in a certain color or tone, we could do that as well. So I'm actually going to not colorize the image and I'm just going to up the saturation a bit, make it a bit brighter as well. So quite happy with that. Now just for the final touches of this image, the background image is still quite sharp and I actually want to sort of filter this background image to make it a bit blurry, a bit more noisy and so my highlighted colour area can stand out. This is particularly useful if you're putting together a certain image that you want to sort of really highlight or um, emphasize a key part of that image and this technique is really useful for that. So we're going to find a way of kind of slightly blurring and noising up the background to just make the emphasis between the color area and the black and white area even more apparent. Now to do that I'm going to make start by making a folder from which all these sort of filter layers would be kept in and that's the little icon to the right hand side of the adjustment layers at the bottom here. New folder and we're going to call this filters and what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this background layer and we're going to put it in that filters folder. It's always good to keep the original background layer as it is and unedited just in case for some reason you need to go back to the original image. You don't want to be destroying any images and you don't want to be in a position where you can't go back to your original photo at any time because it gives you some flexibility to edit it later on. So we're just going to hold down the alt key on that background layer again and we'll copy it and move it into filters you'll find that you won't be able to copy the layer if it's still locked as your background layer. And to unlock it, just click on the padlock there. So we'll hold down the Alt key, click and drag it into the filters there. Now, with that selected, we now want to sort of add a filter to our image, but I, as with the black and white, I don't want it to be working on my carriages. I just want it to be working on my background layer. So we're gonna be using the same mask as we did with the black and white, and we'll just hold down the Alt key again to copy and we'll add that to the folder. What that means is that anything that happens in this filter folder will be applied through that mask and to test that I just quickly make a new layer and we take the paintbrush and start painting. You'll see that it's only affecting behind the carriage because of that filter. So the reason it's grey is because we've still got that black and white working on it we don't want a paint layer, so I'm just going to delete that for now. 
So now we're going to play around with a few filters on this background. Um, the first one, which I use sometimes myself, is the stylize and oil paint filter. This is quite a kind of abstract filter that can help um, just sort of slightly abstract the background a bit. You'll see when I use it, there are a few modules there. It kind of just blurs the image slightly and just makes it a little bit more painterly and abstract as opposed to our very sharp photo we've got here. So it's a way of kind of slightly blurring that back photo, but in a more stylized way. <clears throat> now, what I'm also going to do is we're going to go filter again, and we're going to add some noise to this. And this is just a slight grain. It gives you that kind of newspaper, kind of old grainy photo look. And we're going to apply that on top as well. So now you'll see that it's got a slight grain and a slight blur to it. And this is just kind of creating a little bit of distinction between our foreground and our background image. Now there are lots of other filters you can go through here within the filter gallery or in here. So have a look, have a play around. There might be sort of different techniques or different filters you like to use to create different effects. And that's basically it. So what we've done there is we've used layer masks and we used adjustment layers to create a black and white tone to our image and have key areas selected in color. And then we've also applied filters to the black and white area to make it distinct from our color layer. And you could kind of work into that as much as you liked, kind of emphasize that distinction. Thank you very much for watching.